Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla's remote work policy has Amazon attempting to poach unhappy employees. Elon Musk's super bad feeling about the economy provokes strange reaction from Joe Biden. Tesla outlines their plans for Giga Berlin's 247-acre expansion. And Tesla FSD beta will be able to reach GPS points without map data in a few months, as per Elon Musk. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla's new policy on remote work, which essentially eliminates the possibility of employees working from home, has e-commerce giant Amazon attempting to poach employees who are unhappy with Elon Musk's new demands. Anyone who wishes to do remote work must be in the office for a minimum of 40 hours per week or depart Tesla. This is less than we ask of factory workers, Musk said in an email to executive staff earlier this week. In a follow-up email, the Tesla CEO said, if you don't show up, we will assume you have resigned. The new policy was met with mixed reviews, especially as remote employment has become more relevant since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic. The new policy incited a reaction from Amazon's technical recruiting leader at the company's web services division, Zafer Choudhury. He said, if the Emperor of Mars doesn't want you, I'll be happy to bring you over to hashtag Oz. If you don't like to be micromanaged by the Elon Musks of the world, come to hashtag Oz identity. Amazon initiated a policy last year regarding remote positions, indicating it would let corporate employees work from home indefinitely. Twitter, a company that is expected to be acquired by Musk in the coming months after a $44 billion deal announced in late April, is also heavily reliant on remote positions for its employees. This policy remains in question as Musk's acquisition date moves closer and the Tesla CEO continues to line up financing for the deal. Musk had his reasons for axing the WFH policy. There are of course companies that don't require this, but when was the last time they shipped a great new product? It's been a while, Musk explained in a company-wide email to employees. Tesla has and will create and actually manufacture the most exciting and meaningful products of any company on earth. This will not happen by phoning it in, Musk added. Moving to the next update, Elon Musk's super bad feeling about the economy provokes strange reaction from Joe Biden. Tesla CEO Elon Musk sent an email to company executives earlier this week, explaining his reasons for a cutback on salaried positions, which was based on a super bad feeling about the United States economy. President Joe Biden, during a press conference at the White House recently, took Musk's comments personally after making numerous claims about the strength of the economy. Biden, who commented that more Americans feel financially stable since he took office, sarcastically and satirically poked fun at the Tesla CEO, wishing him lots of luck on his trip to the moon. Musk thanked the president in a reply tweet, but it was the latest chapter in a strange saga between the world's richest man and the president of the United States. Biden, who took office in January 2021, avoided the word Tesla, like most avoid curse words. What seemed like a forbidden phrase, thanks to his loyalty to automotive unions, Biden finally uttered the leader of the electric vehicle sector's name in February, giving Tesla its props as the largest electric vehicle manufacturer in the world. Biden, who managed to take the White House away from Donald Trump, has seen his approval rating drop significantly since the beginning of his tenure in Washington. According to the Associated Press, only 39% of adults in the U.S. approve of Biden's performance as president. Even approval among Democrats stands at only 73%, which sounds positive, but it is a drastic drop from previous lows, which had not previously dipped below 82%. Incredibly, Biden tried to use a relatively significant accomplishment as an insult against Musk, who for years has tried to develop technology to make life multiplanetary with his company SpaceX. Unfortunately for Biden, the numbers don't lie, as gas prices continue to soar and inflation has risen from figures of 1.4% in January 2021 to 8.3% in April 2022, its highest level in a more than 40-year history 
which peaked in March 2022, at 8.5%, according to Newsweek. While both Biden and Musk could take the high road and move on from the passive-aggressive jabs they've taken at each other over the past year and a half, it does not necessarily appear the two are willing to stop. Whatever the next interaction between the two is, it is likely to start an intense conversation between loyalists. However, Biden's claims of a robust American economy, solidified by financial security, amongst the country's citizens, is not necessarily accurate, based on recent polls. Only about two in ten adults said they felt the U.S. economy was heading in the right direction. Moving to the next update, Tesla outlines their plans for Giga Berlin's 247-acre expansion. Tesla applied with local authorities last month to expand Giga Berlin on a 247-acre parcel of land located directly next to the three-month-old factory. Before it can build anything, the development plan currently in place needs to be revised to suit Tesla's needs, a process that would require approval from a municipal council committee. Working quickly, Tesla presented their plans to the committee on June 2, 2022, outlining what it intends to do with the 247 acres. Last year, Tesla purchased a rail line with the intention of building a train station near the factory. According to the plans, the automaker will expand the current factory on the existing site and build the train station on the new land, where there will be a freight yard and logistics area, along with storage and parking for cars, waiting to be transported. Tesla also wants to build a new service and delivery center to hand over cars built at the factory to new owners and maintain them once they are on the road. Additionally, there will also be new facilities for employees at Giga Berlin, including recreation and training rooms, as well as a daycare center. To help get ahead of the concerns from environmentalists, Tesla also said in their presentation that all of the new facilities will result in very low additional water demand and will have a nominal impact on the region's water supply. Tesla is obviously still very early in the process, but this is an important first step. Grunheed Mayor Arne Cristiani has previously said the whole process should take about a year, meaning any construction likely won't begin until mid-2023. Moving to the last update, Tesla FSD beta will be able to reach GPS points without map data in a few months, as per Elon Musk. In addition to a number of upcoming improvements, within a few months, Tesla FSD beta will be able to drive a car to a GPS point without map data, which is a big deal, Elon Musk said. In the meantime, version 10.12.2 has started to roll out widely in North America. In addition, Tesla is preparing to submit the development to regulators in the European Union in order to bring FSD beta to the European roads. Full autonomy of vehicles is an extremely difficult task and its developers have a high degree of responsibility. That is why each stage in the development of Tesla FSD beta takes a large amount of time to provide testers with a safe function. After testing FSD beta version 10.12 among employees and making some improvements, the manufacturer began rolling out it on Saturday to all of its 100,000 testers in North America. In the next update, Tesla is aiming for major improvements, according to the company CEO Elon Musk. He indicated that significant improvements will be made to intersection control, especially long lefts. In addition, cars will be able to drive on roads without the use of maps, which is quite remarkable. Musk wrote that this is a big deal and clarified that this means that the car should be able to drive to a GPS point with zero map data. The head of Tesla said that this would be possible within a few months. Undoubtedly, FSD beta is a huge breakthrough and has no analogs on the market. Thanks to the hard work of the Tesla team and tens of thousands of testers in North America, the feature has achieved high performance, which can be seen in owner videos made freely available on various platforms, including YouTube. Using only cameras, Tesla cars are able to drive long distances, often without a single intervention. It is worth bearing in mind that this is a test product, so all drivers should be extremely careful when using FSD beta and be ready to intervene at any moment. 
The strong results set the stage for Tesla to apply to deploy FSD beta in the European Union soon, according to Musk's Twitter announcement. He previously said that this could happen in the summer of 2022. This will allow the manufacturer to test the feature on roads in Europe, which are very different from roads in the US and Canada. This will be a real challenge for FSD beta, as European cities require great skill to drive safely through narrow traffic lot and streets. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.